What's up YouTube? It's your girl Desmarie. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you would like to join the vibe, don't forget to what? Like, comment, and subscribe. Welcome back to my channel. As y'all see by that title, y'all already know what this video is about to be. What a banger. So, y'all, I'm basically just trying to prepare for this pop-up shop in two days y'all it's literally saturday the pop-up shop is in two days on saturday so i'm just kind of you know trying to get everything prepared and i want to take y'all along with me because this is like my first kind of official pop-up shop so i kind of want to you know bring y'all along with me and for the people that are about to have a pop-up shop interested on the details of getting stuff together for a pop-up shop whatever the case may be this is the right video for you um so i'm actually about to start getting prepared i actually had got two things delivered downstairs that i was going to do like an opening video you know box to reel but those boxes are literally way too heavy to bring upstairs so i just left them downstairs and then um what else do i have to do for y'all i got to do open up that those two big boxes and then I wanted to also show y'all my banner that I also just got in. I got a retractable banner that will be at my pop-up shop as well. And right now, I really just need to get all of my inventory that I have left, get it packed, get every, make sure everything has tag. You know, just doing my finalizing and everything. All right, y'all. So, um, by the way, make sure y'all shop in www.2sexyboutique.com. That way, y'all are keeping up with the looks. I'm actually, this pop-up shop, my goal is basically, I'm trying to get, you know, a lot of the summer stuff out. And so, that way, I can transition into fall, getting fall inventory. And, you know, getting ready because it's about to get cold. So, and a lot of my stuff is like very much summer wear. So, I'm actually about to go downstairs. And I'm about to show y'all these packages that I was just telling y'all about. It's dark. Let me turn the light on for you guys. And I'm going to show y'all these packages that I was telling y'all about. And these are all the packages that I was just letting y'all know that I have to unbox. These are two big boxes that I just refused to bring upstairs. So I'm actually about to do an unboxing video with y'all. And show y'all what's in these boxes because baby... Um, so let's just start unboxing. I actually ended up opening up this box yesterday and followed it back up because I realized what it was and I wanted to save it for today for y'all. So y'all really, really, really got a real friend because I'm looking out and I said, you know what? Don't open out the way. Wait till you, you know what I'm saying? Let your people know what's inside the box. Y'all probably like this and shut up. You talk to me. But it don't matter. You still watch it though? I'm just saying, please, please don't do that. Alright, so inside the box, I actually ordered. I'm so excited. So I got some shopping bags, y'all. So I already have um my I have bags, but they're bags that I use to ship. So if a customer order online, for example, I have shipping bags that you put your items in, you seal it. You put your shipping label on them, but I actually want like actual bags to where they actually, you know, shopping bags for the pop-up shop. And they're actually, let me see, I ordered, I don't know how many I ordered y'all, but I got them off of Vista Print, and I spent, I believe, like $180 for these. So this is what it looks like. It's so cute. This is my logo, Too Sexy Boutique. Boom, bam. And then I open it like this. That way, you know, when the customer purchases an item, I can put them in here. And they can walk off like this. Yeah. These are so cute, y'all. Like, are y'all digging these? I love them. You know, cute little simple shopping bags. And you ain't gotta spend too much. You ain't really gotta do too much. So yeah, I got these off of Vista Print, baby, for I believe like $170, $180. If I'm not mistaken, I honestly don't remember. But 
I got a lot of bags, y'all. So that's that. So I got all of these shopping bags. And then I also, if y'all don't know, I now offer local pickup as well through my store. So these bags will also be beneficial for those customers that do that does local pickup. So they don't gotta get the regular, you know, shipping bags that I ship out. They can use these as well. So anything that you buy for your business, understand that it's an investment. So you gotta spend money to make money, okay, baby? So just know that it's an investment, always, always. So I'm very excited about those. And these right here is the big box. And these are actually my mannequins. I ordered two mannequins. So that's what these are. And I actually need to get some scissors, so hold on real quick. Okay, so we have the mannequin. Let's try to open. And I just hope everything's in here. So I have I ordered this maybe like two, three weeks ago, but I'm just not opening it only because, like I said, for the sake of this video, because I'm a real, I'm a real friend here. So I hope everything's in here because I know the show is definitely too late to take it back. These are the mannequins. Y'all, y'all can't even see. I really want y'all to see. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay. It feel like Christmas. <laughs> it feel like a Christmas. This is like a business Christmas, really. Like when I'm buying stuff for my business, y'all, I be feeling so happy because it really is an investment. Like, you know what I'm saying? All of this stuff, all of this money is definitely gonna pay off and you're gonna see it back in return. So, um, this is my mannequin. These are the arms. Okay. Y'all, this is the body. Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. And then we got the legs. I don't know if I can set it up right now, y'all. Should I set it up right now, y'all? Alright y'all, so I finally completed her. We're trying to think of a name. It's giving, uh, it's giving, we're going to call her Sabrina. We're going to call her Sabrina. So Sabrina is complete. We got her on her stand. It was pretty easy to assemble y'all. And you can also turn it around. And I like it y'all. So we're probably going to put a wig on her or something because it's giving very much her head is um ball right now wish she still look cute you still look cute girl but we probably gonna put a wig on her then we gonna put her little 260 outfit on at the pop-up shop and she gonna look cute right so she is complete as y'all seen we have sabrina up she's over here looking real cute and fine now we actually got that one box left i actually got two mannequins not just one but two mannequins i really want to get like a total of four but i started off with two because you know the girls is really kind of kind of costly okay but um i'm gonna actually do the second off camera and then when i get that one done then i'm gonna come back and let y'all know what she looked like and what her name gonna be make sure y'all continue to like comment and subscribe and i love you guys so much and yeah that's that y'all so we got sabrina in the building. Mama, what, what should we name her? Mama, what should we name her? The second one. Who? Okay. We gonna name her. We gonna, it's giving Tina, Tina or Kelly. Hmm. Is even what, Mom? We gonna name her Kelly. So we got Sabrina and we got Kelly. And they are officially done, y'all. So we got Sabrina. She's more giving very much simple, you know what I'm saying, standing straight up. 
And then we got Kelly. She's giving more like sassy hand on the hip. You know what I'm saying? So these are the two mannequins. They are finally finished. Like I said, the second one was a little bit more expensive than this one because of her yeah, stance. No That's what I was saying. I'm thinking we should put some wigs on them. Yeah, put some wigs on them. Because their heads are giving very much weird. Right? But they still cute though, right? Yeah, but they, they cute, but they give them alien. Yeah, so. <laughs> nah, they cute. So, they are finished. Like I said, this second one was a little bit more expensive only because it comes with the little arm on the hip and the leg is different, as you can see. This one is more straight, you know, it's more, you know what I'm saying, out. So, we have that complete. The next oh, thing is, we want to sell accessories and everything. Mama, these are the bags. These are the bags that I told you I was buying. Yeah, there ain't right there. This is what I had in mind. All right, y'all. So the mannequins are complete. The next step we have to do most likely is, like I said, just finish packing up everything, making sure everything has tags on them, making sure the sizes are accurate. Yeah, making sure that the sizes are accurate. That way, everything is organized. Because when you get to a pop-up shop, you want to make sure that you have everything organized. If you don't look organized, then it's going to look very much unprofessional. So, just prepare. Start gathering your things. I do clothes. You may do cosmetics or candles or... Hats, jewelry, it doesn't matter. Whatever the, whatever it is that you're selling, cakes, desserts, food, whatever it is that you are selling, you want to make sure that you are organized. You have everything that's going to be on your table organized as well. I'm out of breath, y'all. Um, but yeah, so the pop-up shop that I'm at, the table and chairs are provided for us so that's something that i don't have to worry about depending on your pop-up shop you may have to bring a table um or a tent or whatever the case may be if it's outdoor or indoor but this pop-up shop is specifically indoor so everything is pretty much provided the only thing that we have to bring um is of course our inventory whatever we're selling and then however whatever else we need to decorate our space and booth so that's that and that just makes it a little easier on me too because I ain't got to really worry about tables and going to get chairs and stuff like that. But that's that. So I'm actually about to finish organizing these clothes, making sure everything is accurate, the sizing is correct, making sure I have the hang tags on every item, and just making sure everything is organized. So I'm about to get to that. And y'all can follow me. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to join the vibe. Alright y'all, so um... For my pop-up shop, I'm specifically doing clothes. This is just a few, just two, wait, actually these are just three of my items um, on this rack, everything else is over there. But I'm specifically doing clothes and considering most majority of pop-up shops, you have like a table, whether it be a rectangular table, majority of the time or a circular table if you're outdoors or something. But I really didn't really want to lay out all of my clothes like on a table um, just because I'm specifically selling clothes. So if you're doing clothes, I personally just thought it's better to have like clothing racks, which I will be bringing. And then um, I'm actually, my boo actually going to be buying me um, two more clothing racks that I can have as well. That way I can store more clothes on a different clothing rack just so that it can look more presentable. And I'm also thinking about getting some shelves, maybe two, depending on if I'm able to fit all of my inventory on shelf. Um, I mean, on the racks. Um, I might also have shelves behind me that I can store the clothes in as well. So depending on what you're selling, you want to just make sure you find a way that you can organize and make your spot, your space, your booth space look inviting. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm planning to bring this, bring, an, um, like I said, I'm going to go go get two more tomorrow, hopefully, um, to store some more inventory. And that way customers can come and look through if they want to, instead of looking through clothes on, on the table. But if you're selling like food items, candles and stuff like that, of course that can go on the table. But with clothes, especially if you have a variety of clothes, I feel like for me, I would want to use a clothing rack. So that's that. Like I said, I'm just making sure each 
item. This is the bougie black sexy dress. The slits are out on the side. Very cute, very good material. It's perfect for this fall coming up and winter time. Cute night out, cute day out, doesn't matter. But um, I'm just making sure each item that I'm gonna be selling has the hang tag with the accurate size. So majority of these are good. I think I just have to put a hang tag on this one. This one doesn't have a hang tag. So these are my hang tags. So I'm going to just puncture this to make this, you know, just a part of the getting ready process. Just gonna puncture that. Boom. So now that one has a hang tag. And I'm gonna actually go through all of my items and do the same thing as well. So another question is, you may ask, how do you get into pop-up shops? Um, how did you find out about, about your pop-up shop? Pop shop? Are pop-up shops expensive? This pop-up shop um, was a $75 vendor fee to be a vendor at this uh, specific hosting event. Um, pop-up shops pricing varies. Some are 100, some are 50, some are 20. It is, I don't really know. I just know that the prices are not a set price. You know, it just depends on the host how much they're charging um, for you to be a vendor at that event, you know? So this one specifically is $75. How do you find out about it? Um, usually you have to just find, uh, follow business pages or specifically um, getting yourself into Facebook groups and looking up pop-up shops near me on Google and looking up and you're doing your research to find pop-up shops. And if you see somebody promoting a pop-up shop, uh, text them or try to get their info and say hey how did you get into this pop-up how, how can I get into this pop-up shop or whatever the case may be you basically just gotta do your research follow business pages that does pop-up shops and look up pop-up shops that are near you that's how I found out about this pop-up shop and as well you want to make sure that the pop-up shop that you do decide to get into um, brings in your tar target audience for your brand or whatever you're selling so if you're selling more like clothes, my target audience is for like millennials, people that are 20, 18 years old to like maybe 35, 40. So I wanna make sure that wherever I'm going, that's gonna be the audience. It's gonna be some girls, it's gonna be younger girls that, you know what I'm saying, will most likely get items like this instead of, you know what I'm saying? So you wanna make sure that the target audience is the audience that your brand targets to, if that makes sense. So that's that about those. Um, I'm trying to think about anything else that may be asked or that I was actually confused about at first. So yeah, if y'all have any questions or whatever, like I said, I'm new to this, not true to this. Um, but if y'all have any questions about how the pop-up shop went or any questions that I may not be answering, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to help you and put you on. I really don't mind helping letting people you know get on or whatever so if you have any questions don't forget to comment and yeah i'm actually about to finish doing these clothes so yeah all right y'all so literally exhausted it's 135 y'all just finishing 135 i started i think around 10 something heads i think i started around yeah i started this around 9 30 and it is now 135. So good four hours organizing, just getting everything together. I have all of this organized now. Everything, everything is, is um also put up. I'm just tired, y'all. I'm really about to go take a shower and just restart tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm actually gonna take y'all with me and we're gonna run some errands to get the remainder of the stuff that's needed for the pop-up shop so i hope y'all are enjoying the content so far and i will see y'all tomorrow all right y'all it is the next day i actually forgot to start recording for y'all but we got say hey babe <laughs> what's up gang hey but i forgot to update y'all but we did get my baby ended up getting me the racks y'all we got two racks so we actually setting them up right now we still got sabrina oh yeah babe we named these mannequins her name is sabrina and her name is 
uh, what we name her? Kelly. Kelly. Yeah. So we got Sabrina and Kelly. So yeah, y'all. So we're actually setting these up right now. I just wanted to kind of just update y'all because I forgot yesterday, but we doing this now. So I'm gonna just do this a time lapse so we can get, you know, because we actually run out of time, y'all. Like, I've been running up all day and I didn't have time to record because I've just been rushing all day, literally. So yeah, y'all, um, that's that. Oh yeah, y'all probably like, why is this in the background? This is my photography room too. So if you want to shoot, book me, bum shots by this, and I got you, period. All right, y'all, so I just put up to the pop-up shop. I am here, got the balloons in the back. I've been running a little late. I got my people pulling up with everything in the car. Hey, baby. Y'all, he been helping me this whole time. It's good to have a good support system. The balloons, I'll drop it. All right, y'all, so we going in. This is where the pop-up shop will be, y'all. We finna get lit, y'all, we finna get lit. I don't know where we're supposed to go. Everybody's setting up their table over there, bro. Real cute. This is actually perfect. Promise tea. Hey, baby, how you doing? Good. I'm with two sexy boutiques. Okay, how you doing? Good. All right, y'all. So, we fit to sit up, you guys. Hey, should we put my banner up first? We should go get everything. We should go get everything. Okay, we finna go get everything. Come on. So everybody is setting up their tables. The, we finna. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I think I'm gonna wrap it up right here. I kind of just wanted to bring y'all along with me to show y'all the experience, to show y'all me setting up the pop-up shop. If y'all have any other questions, I'm actually gonna probably do later into my business experience, do like an actual video on how to prepare for a pop-up shop now that I know. And once I get more experience, I'm gonna let y'all know and give y'all all the gems and everything. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to join the vibe. I love you guys so, so much. And I wanna see y'all in the next video.
my sleep. I've been going out like Jazzy's going crazy.